everyone welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this video we'll be creating a simple poster design just using brushes and Photoshop so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe my channel and please hit on that bell icon button so you will be notified as soon as I upload the new video so with that note let's jump the video Three hundred resolution RGB color, sixteen bit, and let's click on create. And let's drag and drop uh, which one? Let's drag and drop this image over here, the main image. Okay, convert it as a smart object. Con let's control T. Let's keep it maybe make it a little bigger, or maybe like make it a little smaller. And let's uh, drag another image. And same thing, convert it as a smart object. Control T. Let's make it. A little smaller we have some more around here let's keep it under this layer uh, let's make this layer a little bigger maybe kind of a same size oh like like this size control T let's bring it a little up let's keep it somewhere over here and let's add a solid or maybe background let's give a background a kind of darker greenish color yep maybe somewhere maybe something like that all right now let's select both layer ctrl g let's make a group and let's go for this one add a layer max go for this one and add a layer max and go to the brush and this time i will i'm using this photoshop brush and if you want to download the same brush check in the description list below so let's see let's use the disk press for now you know what like before that let's make a new layer go to press again so let's go for some kind of yellowish color yeah maybe something like that and let's add a brush so yeah this is a really nice brush and if you don't have much time just use this brush and make a poster it looks awesome so let's create a black color and let's add now let's get back those parts now let's create a new layer in between and maybe let's add another brush just to give some variations add another layer and let's use another brush let's see what about yeah let's try to use this one and let's go over here let's change the color a little darker all right now let's add some text Control t let's make it a bigger yep let's make a copy let's a control t let's make it a little bigger you know what now let's add another text first so go over here add a text yep maybe something like that let's keep it somewhere over here control t let's make it a little smaller or yeah maybe some somewhere around this side select all this layer control T right click add a skew yep, somewhere around like that let's add some shapes so go over here add a shape yeah let's use the same shapes so I love using shapes because it, it just gives a new feel to your design and control T let's make another copy alt and drag Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Maybe more smaller. Okay, Alt and drag. Alt and drag. Alright, now let's select all those layers. Alt and drag. Let's make a copy and let's keep one over here. And let's see what we can do more. Let's add uh, some details. Um, let's control T let's make it a little smaller and let's select this layer control T add a skew just a little bit 
and what else let's make a copy alt and drag Control T let's make it a smaller alt and drag let's make one more copy Control T let's make it a way smaller yeah for this one maybe add a stroke let's give it a pure white and let's drop down the fill and what else let's add a date so alt and drag and let's do some adjustments so control t let's make it a little bigger and then maybe let's add a rectangle and let's keep it under this layer and let's change the font color to maybe like darker green same thing let's do the same thing and control t let's make it a little smaller maybe it's too big all right now what else we can do oh you know what let's do some color correction select this layer go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's go for basic tab increase exposure a little bit drop down highlights increase shadows increase clarity increase texture go to detail increase color noise noise reduction increase sharpening go to color mixture and what else drop down the a little bit not that much and from the green maybe let's increase the saturation for green and yellow and go to the luminance and let's drop down the luminance yep something like that and let's keep it okay now same thing select this layer go to filter apply the camera raw filter all right now what else you know what let's add this texture over here Control T, let's rotate it, increase the size, uh, multiply, let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Control L, just get the label and let's make it a little darker. Look around the opacity a little more. Okay, now let's add a color lookup from here. Let's add this one. Let's go for color balance and let's increase our red. Yep, something like that. And let's drop down the magenta a little bit and maybe increase the blue a little bit and go to the shadows and and let's drop down let's increase the magenta a little bit yep let's create something like that now let's add a final curve let's make the whole thing a little brighter maybe increase the shadow a little bit too so that's the wrap up and hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video